Hello everyone, here is WiseDev and welcome back to my let's play Elder Scrolls uh, Online we are on episode 3 now we've done some side quests now I think it's it's the time to for us to, to go for the main quest isn't it? What do you want? Nothing, nothing from you It is Lyris yeah. Oh god. It's gigantic. I'm accustomed to stairs, but I reached my threshold for guckers a long time ago. Move along. I'm waiting for someone. Brondold isn't coming. He's dead. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. What's this all about? We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Follow your, your lead with what? Lyris Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? Why is there, your majesty? The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. I've witnessed some concerning things since I arrived here, Your Majesty. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svalgrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. I encountered a, ca a coven of rich witches operating in your kingdom. Trouble from the reach is as common as snow in winter. That will not be enough for Svargrim to accept the help of outsiders. His hatred of Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris must bring me proof my husband cannot ignore. We'll find out proof, Your Majesty. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Yoren, and not necessarily in one piece. A soldier accused me of being a spy. Are your people always so suspicious? My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. What sort of proof will persuade High King Svagrin to listen? You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yoren exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this. And I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. What we've found so far isn't isn't enough. It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned. Then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as your claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. Goodbye. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? He was fleeing pursuit and gave me a bundle of papers before he died. Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Here's everything I found. Mm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Rondel thought it could be connected to the Coven. 
I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? What would you need me to do? Brondald mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. Can you explain what this is all about? Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well, so Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondald found, and that's about it. I ran into the Coven. I overheard them plotting something about destructive storm and uh, harvest. I had a run-in with the Coven too. First at their stronghold in the Sea of Ghosts, then in Eastmarch. They tried to... well... Let's say they had plans of an unkind nature regarding the Skald King. I stopped them, then came here to warn Svargrim. Why did Joran send you to help Svargrim? They always just had a bad history. While it's true that Svargrim and Joran don't get along, the Skald King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Joran was hoping for an opportunity to improve relations. How do we know the smugglers and rich men are even connected? We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. Okay. I'm not the first what Nord from the East to receive a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. The Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. Greetings. Hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice! There a reason you're interrupting our game, hawk face? Hey! Don't call me that! Brondot said you might know something about the smuggled goods from Sentinel. Don't know any Brondold. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. Let's persuade. Brondog's is dead because of what's in those crates. They'll come for you too. Oh, I can't persuade. I need a persuasion uh, skill before that. Okay. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to to my large friend with the axe. If you don't. My friend asks nicely. Talk. Or the next thing to roll will be your heads. Kasala, Kasala! She handles all the smuggling in solitude. She... her warehouse is on the docks. That wasn't so hard. Come on, partner. We're done here. Yep. Yeah. Let's go find the, the orc. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. Well? Not inside of that one. Not inside of this one. Here. Must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or. Hey! Nobody intimidates my friend. Princess Svana? Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? 
did my father send you? Why would your father send someone to bully Mog? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? We wanted to ask if he saw the people putting up the job postings. Smelly bastards. Cheap too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer though. You remember anything else about this charmer? <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's talk outside, partner. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. Why the smuggler? We know where to find her and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? I'm ready to go to the smuggler's warehouse. Not too far, this is the warehouse. Yeah. It's on the docks. Yeah, looks like he's on the docks. That's Casala's warehouse. Only one sentry. Let's try not to cause a scene. Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? You know Lyris. Blood and Blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait, is he here too? No, just us. We need to see Kasala. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep fair Lyris company in her stead. Perhaps we could wait inside. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? It would mean so much to my son. When I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? I'm not sure. 
But if you get your scabbard, you would be happy to autograph it. Oh, thank you, thank you! You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said to him, but this is our chance. Try the lock. How do I pick lock? Oh, I don't got any pick lock. Where do I go to? Good job with the sentry. You got rid of him and I didn't have to bash him. Really? I feel like I've picked a thousand of them by now. Here you go. I've got plenty. Thank you. Uh... See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. Patience earn. Ash and bones. Rich ritual fellish. Either our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? Proof of a plot against the High King. Care to explain what's in these crates? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High King? What about this rich fellow? Is it fe fetishes? Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the Reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? Who hire you to smuggle this? No name. Just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see the same face twice. Last time it was a smooth talk in Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. I'm sure we can walk, walk something out. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. Can you tell me anything else about the Breton and the Labros? The Breton was sly. Handsome even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. You never check your cargo? I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. That won't happen again. Okay, goodbye. Rondeld had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. But for what purpose? Could it have something to do with the ritual? I saw the witch perform it at the borough. Hmm. The coven was also perfecting some kind of ritual in Ice Reach. Something to do with storms. If these fetishes are from Ice Reach, you may be onto something. Still, why involve the locals? Seems like an unnecessary risk. I guess we should check out the, the lodge. Good idea. Head there while I circle around from the other direction. Maybe I can catch them before they reach the lodge. Just be careful. I'd rather not lose another partner at this point in the investigation. I'll see you at the lodge. Give your sentry my best, and tell him I owe him an autograph. Oh, he's gonna get more than...
exact is the lodge? Oh god. Oh, it's in there. So turn left. Yeah. I got a quest somewhere in here, but I can't find it. Where did you go? Ah, there you are. Yes, I'd say this looks like the right place. Hmm, what's this then? A lever of some kind? Well, you did arrive first. Fair's fair. Go ahead and pull it, won't you? Are these guys aggressive? They look like okay. I'll be back to you later. I don't. I don't got time for you, man. You have a pet mammoth. Is that so strange? Yes, I do. I raised her from just a wee little thing. I can't imagine a life without her. Just one look at her sweet face and you'd understand. Oh, why did I think a fence would stop her? I wish you luck. I'm sure she'll come back, won't she? <laughs> she must be so frightened.
straggler. I have more than I need, so I'll just feast on you. Paint our sorrows. Preparations are complete. My Breton brother, we are ready to begin the ritual. Send the lost, uh, the lightest shipments to Kilcritch Temple. Sister Ambrit will put everything to good use. You have done well. Await my next command. R. Over here, partner. <sighs> All I found were these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? The lodge was empty, but I found a letter from Bre from the Breton. Orders to send the shipmen to Kilcreath. Kilcreath? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? The letter said they were ready to start the ritual as soon as they received the shipment. Damn, we're running out of time. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilcreath Temple and alert Meridia's priests. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Warn the priests? Shouldn't I attempt to stop the ritual? You'll be going up against the Coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means, but don't take any unnecessary chances. I still don't want to lose another partner. Good luck. I'll see you at Kick Rich Temple after you war the High King. Can I loot these guys now? Hot skiva kebabs! Get your delicious skiva kebabs here! Skiva kebabs? Come on! <laughs> A disaster has befallen Kilcreath Temple. Fenoria. Didn't I send you to solitude? 
This place isn't safe. The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual and summoned one of those Hera Storms. Now Kilcreath Temple is crawling with Hera Fiends. I was sent to warn the Temple Priests. I'm looking into the Coven for the Queen Girl... Girlhood? Girl I'm sorry, but you're too late. The Coven unleashed their unnatural Hera Storm. And now the entire area is overrun by vampires and Hera Fiends. Still... Meeting you again is fortuitous. We worked well together before, and I could use your help. There's nothing... There's nothing I can do for the Temple Priests? There may be survivors who could use your help. And if we can learn more about the ritual that summoned the Harrow Storm, we might be able to determine how to stop them. Or at the very least, we can figure out where they plan to strike next. What do you need me to do? I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the area, making it difficult to get close. Hence the need for your assistance. You see, I'm not that confident in my combat prowess. What exactly happened at Kyokrit uh, Temple? The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrow storm on the temple. It struck without warning and evaporated as quickly as it began. But in its wake, it left behind harrow fiends. Innocent priests and pilgrims transformed into monsters. What's a Harrow Storm? That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. It's magical in nature. The result of some sort of ritual performed by the witches. I'm still investigating. But I think the Harrow Fiends are a byproduct of the storm. Goodbye. of Meridia. Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple. Please, can anybody help us? Oh, thank Meridia. The priests and pilgrims of Kiltrick Temple. We need assistance. A great and terrible storm struck, and so many of us were lost. What's Kiltrick Temple? A temple dedicated to Meridia, the Lady of Light. Pilgrims come from across Skyrim to pray and seek blessings, especially at this time of the year. P please, talk to Priest Bavian. You'll find her in the nearby cave, tending to the injured. Who's Priest Bavian? She's the ranking priest, after High Priest Varkor. But we haven't seen the High Priest since the storm hit. Bavian led a group of us to safety. But there are more priests and pilgrims out there. If you're willing to help, please talk to Bavian. I'll talk to Priest The living Bobby. take precedence. We should search for survivors while investigating the pikes. Another pilgrim seeking shelter from a storm? No, you don't appear to be a pilgrim. What brings you here? I met the priest outside. He said you need assistance. Even in our darkest hour, Meridia provides a light. We were on our way to see High Priest Varkor when the storm hit. I've never seen such power. It raged like a thing alive. I gathered who I could, but the others are still out there. Where do you want me to look? Start at the stables to the northwest. I saw Acolyte Yold, Priest Irena, and Rolygmorf the Pilgrim seek shelter there. If you find them, send them back here. After that, meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge to the west of the temple. I'll look for the people you mentioned at the, at the stables. Look for Yold, Direna, and Rolygmorf at the stables. Then meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge. I will head there after I finish caring for these injured souls. Meridius light shine upon you, good friend.
An alchemical residue. That should prove useful. It's depleted. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Interesting. better allies than I thought. Can you feel the lingering energy? That's Daedric, if I'm not mistaken. These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrowstorm. Now they're just ordinary sticks, but even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. Remind me, what did we learn by examining the depleted witch pikes? I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant role as focal points for the storm ritual. The prepared pikes are depleted as the ritual runs its course, but I sensed lingering energy, including a Daedric taint. And we found an intriguing residue. What's this, the significance of the residue? It's the remains of an alchemical poultice that was spread over the pikes. It smells like rotting fungus, doesn't it? With a little study, I should be able to identify each ingredient in its makeup. Then I can begin to understand the ritual. Should we take a closer look at the temple now? One other thing I want to check first. I noticed the pilgrims leading a cart away from the temple right before the storm hit. Coven members could have tried to slip away among the innocents. The cart should be along the road south of the temple. Let us check on the pilgrims, yeah.
Oh Gott. What happened to this poor woman? She looks distraught. Taking me. Keep calm. I mean you no harm. High priest Vakur will find me. Meridia will save me. When things are darkest, her light shines the way. Please don't eat me. Priest Bavian saved me. I'm here to help. Priest Bavian? Where's High Priest Vakur? Did those horrible creatures get her? We hid in the stables, but then. Priest Arena changed. That's when I ran in here. Go meet Priest Bavian, and there's others in that cave to the southeast. southeast. I'll check on Priest Arena. Strange. They're alive, but unresponsive. Check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items. Did you find anything of interest in the crate? The crate was empty except for some dust and ash. I can't believe anyone knowing the involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm. Perhaps the pilgrims were tricked into transporting the crate. Or maybe it was slipped into their cart. Should we check on the temple now? Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. The temple was clearly at the center of the storm. Regardless, there's still a lot we don't know about the effects of this ritual. Observing the target area could offer new insights. Let's head to the temple now.
because I'm here in this side I can just check out the pilgrims lodge Adina, please, wake up! Hmm. No visible damage despite its proximity to the eye of the storm. Acolyte Ivina can't hear me. She's standing right here, but she's gone. That Acolyte, she's just like Priest Irina at the stables. Is this what would have happened to all of us? If I hadn't gotten the others into the cave? I tried to heal Ivina, but Meridia's light had no effect. But what was that about Priest Arena and the stables? I found the people you sent me for. Jolt is safe. Rolling, Rolling Morph is dead. And the other... Is like poor Ivina. We must find High Priest Varkor. If anyone is powerful enough to cure this unnatural ailment, it will be her. Already are willing. We'll find the High Priest and everyone else safe in the temple. Let's head to the temple. Okay guys, I'll go f I hope you guys had some fun in this, in this video. And I'll see you guys in the... Is this a small game? And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!